Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be upgrading this uh, Dell Inspiron machine. Uh, I got this at the Surplus store. Uh, if you go back to the second video on my channel, you'll see uh, a video just looking at this machine. And uh, basically we're going to be upgrading it. So the upgrades we're going to throw in it are two more gigs of RAM to upgrade it to four gigs, a 160 gig hard drive, and a dedicated graphics card. I believe this is made by a company called Matrix but I am not sure. So let's go ahead and pop the cover on this and toss that aside. And you will see in here we have a 250 gig hard drive and that hard drive will be going in the bottom as a secondary drive and the 160 as the boot drive. Uh, two modules of uh, DDR2 RAM in empty PCIe 16X physical slot. So the first thing we're going to be upgrading is the RAM and uh, the latches on the module thingies are already open for us. So how is this going to go in? I believe the latch or the little, little latch nubbin thingy on the top or is on the top. So if we pop that in, that should go in properly. That was the worst crunching sound from a computer I've ever heard. So we're going to go ahead and pull that back out because the module seems to be broken now. Or it's not, but it just feels like it. So actually I'm going to pull that back out. Just make sure it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Pardon my head blocking the shot. I literally have to have my camera halfway across the room so you guys can barely see what I'm doing because I'm using my iPhone in the... It's not the best for this kind of stuff. Hopefully I'll get a new camera one day. All right, the uh, RAM is now installed. So now it goes in the uh, hard drive. So basically, uh, it's mounted with four screws. This only has two, and I don't have any other screws. So the same screws can be found on the power supply. So the power supply is now held in with only two screws which is probably not the best, but oh well. And I'm just gonna just do this because that's kind of loud. And remove that screw. All right, and the screw bit came off. So let's pull that down. And uh, put in this other drive and screw them both in. So installed so um next thing to go on is the uh, power cables for or the SATA power cables so that's kind of a bit of tension on that nice job Dell nice design there when it's when the cables are relaxed it puts tons of strain on the hard drive connectors 
Great way to uh, break your loyal buyer's computer components. Anyway, um, optical drive is also a SATA optical drive. It does not work. It uh, does not eject the tray properly. So we're going to be taking the cable from that and just plugging, plugging it into our second drive. That's that. So the last component to install is our graphics card. So that uses one of those screws that they're arming off of. And in here we have a modem card. That's going to be coming out. And all the other cards just fell. So uh, this I'm not going to be using. I might throw it in a PFSense server or something. I don't know. But. Uh, graphics card just goes in on the top if I can get it past all these uh, cables. Let's, before I damage something, just... Alright, why isn't it going in? I don't think this like this card likes me too much, so we're gonna just pop out that saddle cable. There, so that's uh not installed properly, but it'll do. I'm gonna put a GT six ten in here but I have to fix it first, so we'll see a video on that, attempting to fix it. And if it does end up working, we're gonna be putting it in here. So let's put all that back on and put this bracket in. You guys probably can't see what I'm doing on the back of the case, but basically there's a little bracket that holds all the cards in and it's screwed in with the one screw. It's not the best design because there's no tension holding in the uh, cards when nothing's or when that piece isn't holding them. So before I forget, I'm gonna put this back in. And for once I managed not to scrape myself on a connector or on a PCB. So that is uh, all the upgrades we're going to be doing. Uh, let me pop the cover back on and uh, why don't we go ahead and test it actually. And I need to find a better way to put this camera because it's not up. Well, I can't talk today. It's not working out to get rid. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Just forget it. All right. a nice Apple power connector. Put that there and plug this in so you can see it did that. Now let's turn it on. Alright, so it posts. Uh, RAM seems to be installed properly, which is a miracle, but um, in the next video, uh, we are going to be putting Windows 8 on this machine, and if it gives us the option, we're going to be upgrading it to Windows 7, or not, Windows 10, not Windows 7. We're going to be upgrading from Windows 8 to Windows 10 if it gives us the option, and we're probably going to be throwing Ubuntu Linux on here. That's Ubuntu 14.10, so I can find my install disk for it. So, I think that's going to be it. Um, thanks for watching. Please remember to like or dislike. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. And um, that's going to be it for this video. Machine works, hopefully. So, we are going to be installing a couple operating systems. Maybe even three operating systems if I'm feeling lucky. So, um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.